Hi, I'm Michael Gatzen, working in the data sciences platform of the Broad Institute, and I will be presenting on our recent efforts on evaluating functional equivalence between variant calling pipelines. So generally, benchmarking variant calling pipelines focuses on this competitive aspect of beating the competition. So usually we would run two pipelines, take the outputs from each pipeline and compare them against truth, and then look at metrics such as sensitivity, precision, maybe look at a rock curve to determine which one pipeline is better than the other pipeline. Recently, however, we were faced with a different problem because as studies become larger, data sets will be more useful when they're combined. So realistically, we need to combine the results from different methods, tools, and pipelines into larger data sets. This, however, introduces the risk of batch effects. If the data processed with one pipeline have slightly different properties than the data processed with a different pipeline. This is hugely important for projects like the Oliver's Research Program, where samples from one million participants are collected and processed at three different sequencing centers across the US. Another project where this is important is the Dragon JTK pipeline, which is a joint development project with Illumina, where they provide a proprietary hardware accelerated version of the pipeline, and we, the Broad, provide a open source software implementation of the pipeline, and we're working together to ensure that the outputs of the two pipelines are compatible and can be combined. So really the question is less of which pipeline is better, but how similar are the pipelines, and how can we ensure that data from different sources can be used interchangeably without risking any batch effects. So we cannot expect binary equivalency between the files, but we can determine if the two pipelines are functionally equivalent. And this is usually done by taking a sample and producing two or more replicates independently from each other, and then running the two pipelines on each of these replicates. And then we can compare the differences between the tools run on the same replicate, uh, which we call the inter-tool difference. Um, since we have multiple replicates, though, we can also compare the differences between the replicates run with the same tool, and this is what we call the intra-tool difference. And if we find that the inter-tool difference, which is the bias due to the difference in tools, is smaller than the intra-tool difference, which is just the noise inherent to genomic data analysis, then we determine these two pipelines to be functionally equivalent. So how can we quantify these differences? Usually the Jacquard score is used to sort of measure the concordance between two variant core sets. However, we found that this, matrix, uh, this, th th this metric cannot capture slight but significant differences in the quality of the calls. So we also need to look at performance, and for that we would usually look at rock curves. However, rock curves also don't convey all the necessary information. So we propose the use of these F1 plots, which quantify the absolute F1 score inter- and intra-tool differences between two pipelines across a realistic range of quality thresholds. So this method really provides a framework for a three-way comparison between the outputs of two pipelines as well as a corresponding truth. We demonstrate this method in a public workspace on Terra, which is an open platform to run analyses in the cloud. And in there, you will find a plug-and-play pipeline which, in which you can enter the file locations into a table as simple as this. And the pipeline will automatically match the necessary comparisons between the tools and between the replicates for each data set. And then for each data set separately, we'll provide a number of these functional equivalence plots, which you can then use to determine if the pipeline is functionally equivalent to another pipeline or not. So this is really a highly generalizable method for comparing different configurations, tools, and pipelines. And you can find this information and much more in our GitHub repo, so please check that out. And we're always very happy for any questions and comments, so please don't hesitate to contact us at any time. Thank you.